A kill plot is designed to kill a deer, not to feed the herd. It's meant to get that deer out of its bedding area and into a location in daylight to where you've got a shot at killing it. So position these kill plots very closely to bedding area. Once it's sprayed and mowed, you want to fertilize that ground. It's best to take a soil sample, but if you don't have time, just get triple tin fertilizer and spread enough of that according to the size of your kill plot. Work the ground up. You have to have good seed to soil contact, and if you don't have a tractor and disc, you can use a garden tiller, you could use ATV implements, you can even go in there sometimes, depending on what you're planting, with a rake and work the ground and expose the soil. The next step is to spread your food plot seed. Find a plant variety that is unique to that area that the deer can't get anywhere else and plant that in your kill plot. It's going to be more attractive to them because the only place they're going to be able to get it is right there where you plant it. Plant a screen around the edges of your food plot about two to three yards wide. I like to use Egyptian wheat. It grows anywhere from five to six all the way up to seven or eight feet tall and it's going to make those deer feel much more comfortable coming into them during daylight. Lastly, you want to get that seed into the soil. Depending on what you're planting, you can disc it in, you can simply run over it with your truck tires, tractor tires, foiler tires, or you can rake it in with a hand rake. Make sure it has good seed to soil contact. Once your food plot's finished, hang two different tree stands for two different winds and you'll be ready for deer season.